y'all so I'm back in my guest bedroom where I store and house my hair products and so I just wanted to show you some of the leave-in conditioners that I use during the cooler months here in Phoenix Arizona now here a lot of people don't realize that in Arizona we have extreme weather it can be really cold in certain areas it snow it actually snowed here last year in Phoenix and then it could be very dry so it could be dry and cold during the winter months right now it's about a high of 50 but it can get low into the 20s so anyway just wanted to give you that background so so these are some of the leave-in conditioners that I like to use now because of my hair um, I have thicker strands density and I am 4B 4C I like to use a leave-in conditioner that is more creamier and sometimes a little heavier depending on um, again the weather so we have here first up TGIN buttercream daily moisturizer um, this is the generic brand of Shea Moisture Curl Enhancing Smoothie but it is thick I'm gonna go ahead and open this for you guys this is the consistency and it's so funny when I first opened it up it reminded me of perm that little hair there is from JB I've been using this on my son's hair but look at how thick it is um yeah I've been using it on my child's hair but we have the same texture so I have a feeling it will work just as well on my and next up we have the my L pomegranate and honey line it's the her leave-in conditioner absolutely love this very very creamy we have the grow yogurt from as I am's long and Lux line again I actually purchased all four of these products during Black Friday okay so I got some really good deals and again um, as far as stylers I tend to use products that are a little bit heavier for my hair and again I know I know not everyone can do this okay especially if you have fine hair um, so I tend to use my own DIY mango buttercream mango and shea butter buttercream okay now as far as hair oils go I tend to mix my own oils together I use everything from coconut oil to um, I'm looking back here avocado oil olive oil grapeseed oil um, sweet almond oil yes so this has about six oils and I like to use the heavier oils like olive oil and castor oil when it's a little bit cooler not a lot though but you can see the consistency all right you guys so next up you're gonna see me go ahead and moisturize my hair and I'm also going to set my hair and twist using my DIY buttercream along with wet line extreme gel alright you guys so I'm going to be going ahead and using a little bit of water along with TGIN's buttercream extreme wet light gel and um, of course my DIY buttercream that you did not see there so I do apologize for that so I'm going in with the TGIM buttercream as my leave-in conditioner and then I'm going to use just a little bit of the DIY buttercream to set these twists I think that was my mistake here um, the twist doll came out looking okay but not as great as I wanted to so I'm going to go ahead and set my hair in medium to medium small twist Ryan Little. <laughs> just about done here I'm going to apply a little bit more oil to my scalp and I'll allow these to set for about two days and right now I'm going to unravel I did use some goody stretchy bands um, to help uh, with the length I should say to help with the shrinkage excuse me so I'm going to take my time to unravel my twists <music>
just about done um, separating. I separated quite a bit, and I did this on purpose, you guys. Um, I ended up putting the front into my signature pompadour. Yeah, and wasn't not really feeling this twist out, but I'm going to make it work out, okay? up retwisting my hair and so the footage you see next is just me taking down my twist I ended up using the generic version of the curl defining cream by Shea Moisture I purchased this product during the Black Friday sale at Sally's I know a couple of you guys got in on those sales look at the definition now I did allow these twists to set in um, for about three days but I only used the Shea Moisture excuse me, the generic brand of this particular product. And that right there is just what the consistency look like. Now, it is a very, very thick product. If you have fine strands, if you are a, you know, three category, you may have some problems, but I think you could thin it out and have, you know, and, and still be able to use it um, as a styler. So I'm just going to take my time and unravel my hair. Ryan Little. <laughs> Taking some sweet almond oil there to help reduce frizz. Now you guys, I know it may seem like I'm using a lot of products on my hair, but it's so dry out here in Phoenix and it has been in the cooler um, cooler temperatures, so my hair can handle it, okay? I probably use products within the eight days. I probably use products about four times on my hair. Um, with this particular style, I did not use a leave-in conditioner. All I did was use the Curl Enhancing Smoothie. I want to call it that. Um, and that's it. Look at the definition. Look at the shine. So I'm going to continue to unravel my hair. styling this hair y'all look at the definition again I got this at my local Sally's Beauty Supply it was 50% off giving you a little shake girl yes absolutely love it y'all um, I'm curious to see how well this product would do on a blowout because I feel like my hair even though I did hang in there two knots I feel like I got quite a bit of shrinkage <music> Y'all, you do you see do you see this? I know I just ran up on you real quick. Do you see what is this? Do y'all see what's going on here? Generic curl defining cream. This. This right here. This did all of this. Look at the back. Look at the bounce. Now the back. Granted, my hair has set for three days. Still, look at the definition. Absolutely beautiful. This is one of the best twist outs I have ever gotten, whether it be one of the best, not the best, but one of the best. Wow. With a store-bought store -bought product, absolutely. This is beautiful. Look at that. This is something that will last a couple of days. You know what I mean? Um... Y'all, 
yes i love it so that is it you guys my hair will probably last night at this point it's been we're at eight days but i can make it last another four to five days easily as long as i don't use too many products um use too many more of the same product even because i don't want to experience buildup. but yeah that is it you guys thank you so much for watching take care bye